Caden Blizzard to the office, please. Caden Blizzard to the office. Um, okay. You get one point if you have the right factorization on the left hand side and you get one point if you have the right solutions on the right hand side. Each problem is two points each. If you have all of this and all of this you get two points. If you only have one or the other then you get one. For problems such as this one here you could also have in place of this 4 times x plus 1. For problems such as this, you could have in place of this 2 and then x plus 3. In place of that, you could also have 2 and then x minus 2. Same deal here with this. This could be 2 and 2x two plus 1. The objective is still the same, to factor a quadratic equation where a is not equal to 1. Here's an example. The problem is 6x squared minus 17x plus 5 equals 0. Can I divide anything out of 6, 17, and 5? No. So what's my first step? Yeah, break up the 6x squared, and how can I do that? Right? 3x and 2x, right. How can I break up that 5? 1 and 5, but what signs must it, must it have? Must, why is it going to be negative? Yeah, because we have to add to get a negative 17. So anytime you have signs that are minus plus in your expression, that means the factors will be negative, negative. So now we have to pick a place to start. Which one of these should I choose first? 3x and 2x. And somebody tell me what to put in next that we can check. Negative... I just can't hear. I'm, I can't hear what you're telling me. Negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 5. We'll try that and see what happens. So 3x times a negative 5 is negative 15x, and negative 1 times 2x is a negative 2x. That gives me a negative 17x. Is that what I had in the middle? Yes. So we found it on the first try. If it did not work out, then you have to rearrange your negative 1 and negative 5. But we found it, so we have to set 3x minus 1 equal to 0 and 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So 3x equals 1, we move this to the right, change the sign, and 1 over 3 will be x this one, you move the minus 5 to the right, make it positive, divide by 2, and 5 over 2 is the same thing as 2 and a half. Put your answers in order from least to greatest, 1 third or 2 and a half. Practice problem is 6x squared plus 14x minus 12 equals 0. You can divide something out of all three of those. What is it? 2. If you take a 2 out, what are you left with? 3x squared plus what? 7x minus 6. Now we can try to factor this set of parentheses into two different sets. How can I break up 3x squared? 3x and x. And how can I break up the negative 6? Negative 3 and 2, I heard that. Negative 2 and 3. 
Negative 6 and 1, and negative 1 and 6. All right, which one do you want to try first? Negative 2 and 3. So if we put those in there, we can check it by doing this. 3x times 3 is 9x, and then negative 2 times x is minus 2x. That is 7x, and that's what we need for the middle. So we need to set this and this equal to 0. 3x minus 2 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. Move the 2 over, the minus 2, and make it positive 2, and then divide by 3. Just move the 3 over and make it negative. Your answer should be negative 3 or 2 thirds. Here's a bonus problem. You have $125 and owe John 60, Jack 20, and George 10. After you paid them all back, you earned $50. How much money do you have? The answer to the bonus problem is $85. Here's another bonus problem. Your job pays $12 per hour and overtime is $20 per hour. Your work week is 40 hours. You worked 60 hours this week. How much money did you earn? The answer to the bonus is $880. On your report card, you earned 1A, 2Bs, and 3Cs. An A is worth 4 points. A B is worth 3 points, and a C is worth 2 points. What is your grade point average? The answer for the bonus should be 2.7. Jack invested $3,000 in a stock that grew to be worth $12,000. What was his profit? Answer to the bonus is $9,000. This will be a short quiz, and you only need to do one, but you can do all three if you want. They are worth 10 points each. If you get all three, you get 20 extra credit points. The problems are 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. 3x squared minus 13x minus 10 equals 0 and 4x squared minus 35x plus 24 equals 0. Come up and get one of those quiz papers, and that's what you're going to put your answers on. Before we get to the answers, here is what you should have had for the factored version of each equation. And for number 1, that should have been 2x minus 1 and x plus 3. For number 2, that would be 3x plus 2 and x minus 5. And for number 3, that would be 4x minus 3 and x minus 8. But for the final answers, you should have the following, and this is what we are checking. For number 1, <clears throat> number 1, you should have negative 3 or 1 half. 2 is negative 2 thirds or 5, and 3 is going to be 3 fourths, or 8. You had $200, but you bought a CD worth $12.75, a jacket worth $45.65, and 3 USB drives that are worth $9.97 each. How much money do you have left? The answer is $111.69. You had $465.89, but you bought three books that are $476 each, five cases of water that are $432 each, and a briefcase that is $76.45. How much money do you have left? The answer to the bonus is $353.56. A number x less 11 plus 24 is 76. What is x? The answer should be 63. 
Your homework, you have to solve for the final answer and show all steps. Don't skip anything on the work that you're showing.